include the gross receipts of the predecessor entity for the three tax year period when figuring. So what if I had another entity and now it's the predecessor entity, but it's the first year of the current entity, maybe then you can look at the predecessor entity for that three year calculation. If your business or predecessor entity had short tax years for any of the three tax year period, annualize your business gross receipts for the short tax years that are part of the three tax year period. In other words, what if the tax year was one year was the first year of business and I was only in business for half the year? Well, then you would expect the business income for that year to be much lower, which would throw off the average. So you would have to then annualize that one year that was a half year or whatever. So it would be equivalent to a full year. So you can get an accurate average of a three year time frame. Okay. So see publication 538 for more information. Treating inventory as non-incidental material or supplies. So if you account for inventories as materials and supplies that are, are not incidental, you deduct the amounts paid or incurred to acquire or produce the inventoriable items treated as non-incidental materials and supplies in the year in which they are first used or consumed in your operations. Inventory treated as non-incidental materials and supplies is used or consumed in your business in the year you provide the inventory to your customers. So financial accounting treatment of inventories. Your financial accounting treatment of inventories is determined with regard to the method of accounting you use in your applicable financial statement as defined in section 451b3 or if you do not have an applicable financial statement with regard to the method of accounting you use in your books and records that have been prepared in accordance with your accounting procedures so obviously if you're talking about law if you were talking about publicly traded companies that have inventory they would typically have to track the inventory on you know like an accrual uh, type of system if we're not publicly traded then we might be a small business that's trying to just be in compliance with uh, the tax code. But even then, whatever our normal accounting system is to track the inventory, 